Thanks for joining us here on this Wednesday. Tonight, the city leaders here in Louisville are hosting a vigil to remember the victims of Monday's mass shooting at Old National Bank and to pray for healing for those still in the hospital. Our reporter Alexis Jones is live right now at the Muhammad Ali Center previewing what we can expect tonight. Maybe crews starting to set up at this point, Alexis? Well, Brooke, not yet, but crews just finished cleaning the area. Soon, loved ones, city and state leaders, and people in the community will be sitting right where I am, just blocks away from where lives were lost. The event starts at 5 p.m., and the community will hear from several speakers, including Mayor Craig Greenberg, uh, Governor Andy Bashir, Congressman Morgan McGarvey, and church leaders. We will have full coverage of the vigil tonight at, like I said, 5 p.m. Um, on our website at whs11.com on air and on our WHS 11 app in Louisville. Alexis Jones, WHS 11 on your side. Alexis, thank you. And if you are looking for a place to find solitude and healing after Monday's event, the Speed Art Museum is offering a space for anyone. Right now you can head over to the museum and experience calming art pieces. It's going to be free until Sunday. The museum says this will not be the last time it offers up the building uh, for a space for healing. For more events, they will be announced on its website there at the Speed Art Museum and social media pages. And at our last check, U of L Hospital, three patients are still being treated. One of them, as you know, is LMPD officer Nicholas Wilt, who is stable, but in critical condition after being shot in the head. The other two patients are stable and in fair condition. Also overnight, the statement coming from Connor Sturgeon's family. This is the shooter from the gunman from Monday's events. Sturgeon's family said no words can express our sorrow, anguish and horror at the unthinkable harm our son Connor inflicted on innocent people, their families and the entire global community. We mourn their loss and that of our son Connor. They said we pray for everyone traumatized by his senseless acts of violence and are deeply grateful for the bravery and heroism of the Louisville Metropolitan Police Department. While Connor, like many of his contemporaries, had mental health challenges, which we as a family were actively addressing, there were never any warning signs or indications he was capable of this shocking act. While we have many unanswered questions, we will continue to cooperate fully with law enforcement officials and do all we can to aid everyone in understanding why and how this happened. Well, police also shared body camera video from the two officers who were first on scene. It shows their bravery and gives us a better understanding of what happened that day. You can see the shooter waiting in the lobby for those officers. And we want to warn you, we are about to show you some of it, and it is quite upsetting to watch. Back up, back up, back up, back up. The first to arrive on scene, officers Nicholas Wilt and Corey Galloway were immediately shot at in their car. Wilt takes out his pistol while Galloway grabs a rifle and they approach the old National Bank, where 10 people had already been shot, some killed. In a press conference, Deputy Chief Paul Humphrey told us the shooter waited by the entrance for police. He went to the front lobby after, after assaulting the victims uh, in the office area, and he could see out where no one could see in. And as the officers approach, Officer Wilt is shot in the head, and Officer Galloway is also shot. He rolls and runs to the side to reassess, then waits there for two minutes, unable to see the shooter. It feels like eternity to watch. You can only imagine how it felt for them being there in that moment. When backup arrives, LMPD says they try to rescue Officer Wilt first and are shot at. Amid the gunshots, you can hear shattering glass. The pain keeping officers from seeing the shooter falls away. And as people are still driving by the downtown Louisville bank on their way to work, Officer Galloway pulls the trigger, then walks up the stairs to see. Suspect down, get the officer! You can see the tension in, in that video. Uh, you can understand the stress that those officers are going through. Um, response wasn't perfect, but it was exactly the response we needed. Um, I think I would, I would love to have either one of those officers ride with me any day. These officers, unflinchingly answered the call to protect and their duty to serve. The giant debt of gratitude is owed by our entire community to Officer Wilt, Officer Galloway, and all of the heroic men and women on LMPD and the other first responders that responded to this. Tom Lally, WHAS 11, on your side.
Aside from that body cam video that we got yesterday, we're also expecting the city to release the 911 calls made during that shooting on Monday, and those will be shared in the coming days, we're told. Well, Deputy Chief Paul Humphrey says officers did not stop working even once the shooter was dead. Humphrey said when officers went in to search that building, they also took in medical supplies and were able to start triaging the victims. He then said hospital staff later told them they are certain that that medical treatment given by officers saved lives. The actions that they took to follow up after being shot at themselves to be compassionate and provide medical treatment absolutely saved lives that day. Humphrey shared another story of an LMPD lieutenant who jumped in to help drive an ambulance at one point to allow EMS to be able to be in the back taking care of one of the victims. So the Oldham County community today is showing their support for Officer Nicholas Wilt. Students at Wilt's alma mater, Oldham County High School, got up early to show that Colonel Nation is rallying behind someone they call a hero. He, of course, was one of the first officers on scene who is still critical in the hospital today. Our Jim Stratman has the story. School officials say that today was supposed to just be a wear blue day to show support for Officer Wilt, but the students wanted to take it a step further. So they got up early, they decorated signs, and they tried to get the community to show its support for the Oldham County grad. We, we like to call it OC Proud. No matter like what year you graduated at OC, we all support Colonel Nation. Colonel Nation was on full display this morning. The signs, the crowd, the blue all to show support for a former colonel in his time of need. So there's definitely community pride here mm -hmm. and in a sense of once a colonel, always a colonel. Monday, Officer Nicholas Wilt was one of the first responding officers to the old National Bank shooting. Wilt was shot in the head and he is still fighting for his life. It's really special to know that there's a hero, like heroes come from OC. We just wanted to stand because he can't and we wanted to show his, like, our support. Matt Steedley is the director of counseling at Oldham County High School. He remembers Wilt roaming the halls of his alma mater. He was a rule follower. Uh, he was active and engaged in uh, both his classwork and extracurricular activities. I think at the time, I don't think he realized he was on his way to being a role model. For these students, He's more than that. He was like our hero for us. Officer Wilt continues to be in critical condition following that shooting on Monday. Everyone out here at Oldham County High School said that he continues to be in their thoughts and prayers for a full recovery. Reporting in Oldham County, Jim Stratman, WHAS 11, on your side. And Officer Wilt is a 2016 graduate of Oldham County High School. He had just graduated from the police academy about 10 days before that shooting. As we come together in this time of crisis, many of you may be wondering, what can I do? Well, one way to help is to give blood. UofL's chief medical officer, Jason Smith, said they used 170 units of blood that day to treat the victims of the mass shooting. He said that far outpaces what their hospital capacity is and credited the Red Cross for providing life-saving blood. If you want to donate, head to redcrossblood.org. Spots, we are being told, filling up quickly.